Hey guys, welcome back to our Snorkeling Mauritius series. Here in Adventures in Aviators, today we are at one of the most iconic locations in all of Mauritius. That is the underwater waterfall down at La Morne. As always, we are going to be ranking this in five different categories. Location, water access, wildlife, water traffic, and facilities. And of course, as always, we are going to rank on all of these categories from a scale of one to five manta rays. Five manta rays. And let's check out what we're talking about here. One of the more beautiful locations in all of Mauritius. And where exactly is this destination? So we are in the southwest corner of Mauritius. And Lamorne is a little peninsula that comes out. It's a little over an hour from Port Louis and closer to two hours from the north. It's also about an hour from the airport, so it's not especially close to anything, but there are plenty of resorts down this way for obvious reasons. Obvious reasons. There's one main road that gets you out on the peninsula. If you have to ask which road it is, you're not taking the right road. There is one other little road for the hike up to Lamorne, um, but that is an unpaved, unkept road. The main road there is easy to spot, lots of signage, and it gets you out to the area for Ryu Resorts. And Ryu is right on the corner here, which is where you want to leave from. There's actually two different spots that you can park. There is one parking spot before you reach Ryu, and this is the main area that I would recommend. However, if you do want to continue to go on and go exploring, you go past Ryu and you take a little cobblestone road out to uh, another long beach on the eastern edge. And since beaches in Mauritius are public, they're open to everybody, you can walk along the beach even though there's a resort in that area. So as long as you stay on the beach, you can walk in to the corner where you're gonna be getting in the water uh, from either of these parking areas. They both have extensive parking and it's real easy to see where you, where you wanna be there. It's just on either side of Ryu Resort. So because it's in a beautiful spot of the island, although not especially close to many of the things outside of the resorts, I'm gonna give this three out of five manta rays. When it comes to water access, you can see again that we have beautiful beaches in this area, which means super easy access into the water. You're not climbing over many rocks or anything like that. Do the little bit of the shuffle as you come in, just make sure you don't catch yourself on a stingray or something like that. But typically in this area, there's enough tourists that so that is not a problem. Water access, super easy. It's a beach. That gives us five out of five manta rays. Five manta rays. Now when it comes to wildlife, so we are gonna be swimming out a little bit of a ways here. So you can see the sandy areas in these overhead shots and where you wanna get to this dark area, kind of right along the corner. What the resorts have done is they put up three big flags kind of in the main snorkeling areas. So that'll be really easy to see from shore and something to aim for. I do wanna note that there are some really strong uh, currents that can happen in this area, depending on the tides and uh, time of year. And you definitely wanna stay in this main snorkeling area. That's where boat traffic is gonna be watching for snorkelers. Uh, and if you get closer to the waves and stuff like that, you really need to be mindful of currents and, and there's a lot going on in this area. But it's gonna be these dark areas that you're aiming for and there is all kinds of stuff to see in this area. Michelle and I went out, we spent over an hour out here. There was so much to see, lots of beautiful coral. You've got tons of fish, a whole variety of fish. We saw a sea cushion, we saw some cowrie shells, which are really beautiful. And I will just say this is definitely a look, don't touch area. There's all kinds of stuff that's really beautiful, but you definitely don't want to touch it. These cowrie shells are really beautiful, but they are alive, so you definitely don't want to touch them. We also had clams, we had little what this thing is called, but it's really cool. Kind of looks like a seahorse, kind of looks like a sea snake, but that's really fun. A whole variety of neat things to see here. We spent a ton of time looking at all the different fish over here. A beautiful, beautiful location. We didn't see much big stuff in, in talking to other people. Most of that stuff is gonna be on the outside of the reef. And we're just focusing on the inside of the reef today. So there's not a huge opportunity to see many big things right here, but still very beautiful. And for that reason, I'm gonna give it four out of five manta rays. Now water traffic is a little tricky. As you can see in these shots, there's actually not so much in the way of water traffic, but this is a really busy area. And at certain times of years, it's gonna be exceptionally busy. You have paddleboarders who are leaving from here. You have kayakers who are leaving from here. And then you have boat traffic who's bringing folks from other areas over to this spot to snorkel. So there's plenty of people around depending on the time of day uh, and time of year that you're here. Now what you don't see in these pictures and what we didn't see at all are kite surfers. 
And this is actually a haven for kite surfers. This whole area is super popular for that because during parts of the year, namely June through September, it gets much windier here and it still can. We were here in late April and have seen it windy. We saw tons of kite surfers when we first visited in January. So it just becomes kind of day by day, but if you're here on a windy day, there's gonna be kite surfers everywhere. There's tons of different places that you can go out kite surfing. So if that's your thing, this is a totally great place for that. But that means you have to be on your lookout for these kite surfers who aren't gonna be paying attention too much for snorkelers in the water. So be really, really careful in this area, especially depending on the time of year and the time of day that you're out. For that reason, I'm only giving this two out of five manta rays. Finally, when it comes to facilities, you do have facilities at the first park that we talked about. There are basic facilities here, it's nothing too fancy, uh, but you do have toilets if you need a restroom. Again, that's not especially close to the spot that we recommend getting in the water, which is further down the point, but you do have restrooms in the case of an emergency. Of course, the resort is not gonna be okay with you just coming up and using the restrooms, um, but uh, you do have stuff nearby in case of an emergency. You do have nice parking and restrooms, although not super close by, so I'm gonna give this three out of five manta rays. All right, guys, that's a little bit about Lamorne, this beautiful area, certainly worth a couple of days on your trip to Mauritius. If you've done this snorkel, you have any other tips or tricks, or if you have any other insights about this area, please put those in the comments below. And of course, smash that subscribe button. Smash that subscribe button. Hit that like, get the notifications. Hit that like, get the notifications. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time.